Hey folks, welcome back to our channel once again for another video. If you like the content that we're putting out, be sure to hit that like button, give us a subscribe, and ring that notification bell to keep up to date on all of our videos. If you'd like to see a review of anything that we have in stock, be sure to let us know in the comments. Today we're going to be taking a look at a truly unique pistol, the G&G Piranha SL. As always, let's go ahead and take a look at the box and its contents. First of all, we'd like to comment on the packaging of the actual box. It all starts with a magnetic flip front. GNG also went ahead and printed some of its features right here on the lid. How to adjust the hop up, the enlarged gas valve for increased efficiency that fills three times faster, as well as a ceramic cylinder spinning valve, which is frost resistant and can last up to twice as long in colder weather. So let's go ahead and slide the pistol out of the case and take a closer look at its contents. First up, we've got one Piranha SL, which just happens to be the two-tone variant. Inside the pistol is one standard 25 round magazine. Next up is your hop-up adjustment key, which takes form of a fragmented 9mm cartridge on a handy keychain. A speed loader for easy loading of your magazines. And finally, a cool extended magazine, which is see-through, showing 9mm dummy rounds. This magazine is a single stack, so oddly enough, it only holds 20 rounds, but it sure does look pretty sweet. So let's go over some of the features on this pistol. The first thing that jumps out to us are the sights. There are green fiber optics to the rear, and a red fiber optic to the front. This makes it incredibly easy to line up your sights onto your target. The next thing we'd like to show you is the slide. The front portion of the slide and barrel are completely stationary. And while this looks cool, it also serves a great purpose. It severely decreases the amount of gas that it takes to cycle your slide by reducing the weight and friction, thus making it that much more efficient. The two-tone variant like the one we have here also boasts a beautiful polished spiral outer barrel. And while we have our slide locked to the rear, we can also see that the slide release is totally ambidextrous, a unique feature for a pistol to have. On the underside of the barrel, we have quite a long Picatinny rail, which is ideal for any attachment you might like to add. There is a push button safety on the trigger, which is somewhat reminiscent of the Glock trigger safety, only with a button. Alright, let's remove the slide. While the slide is locked to the rear, make sure your magazine is removed and you'll need to flip this switch. This will allow your slide to move smoothly forward and right off of the frame. Next, you'll have to remove the recoil spring and guide rod. Simply push it forward, lift up, and out. This will allow you to separate the front end of the slide from the rear. This also gives you easy access to the inner barrel and hop-up unit for cleaning, as well as easy access to the cylinder. To reassemble, position the two pieces of the slide back together, insert the recoil spring and guide rod, next slide it back onto the frame, and revert the slide release switch back to its original position. Done. Now let's take the Piranha into the range for a quick FPS test and demonstration. As previously mentioned, the combination of green and red fiber optic sights made lining up shots really easy. For a green gas pistol, the trigger is fairly responsive, and the pistol also gave a very consistent FPS of around 320. Matched up with a heavier weight BB, this pistol can really aid your game. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel, and if you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to hit the like button. Check the links in the description below for direct links to this product, our website, and more. Thanks for watching.